Hey. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. I... We bought this new car, uh, Future Club, and it doesn't have the um, we have the thing for it. So it looks like we're back to the basics. I just want to talk to you some with uh, just something real quick. It is um. Oh, excuse me. Saturday, technically, June fifteenth, four thirty in the morning. We're headed back. We got gas. Simple shit. Simple human shit. You know, getting off of work. A oh, future club. I just want to talk to you about something. Something I can only talk to you about. You know. It was just uh, a few days ago, fucking uh, one of our comic book idols passed away. Sucks. Just reminds you how fucking fragile everything is, you know? So it's always people you never think are going to die and they end up dying. You know, Future Club. It's like, <sighs> makes you think how much time I got left, you know? Um, sometimes like in these videos it makes it feel like there's going to be a later on you know at one point where I'm going to be able to watch these videos where I'm going to be you but right now you know I'm I'm what you were so sorry sorry you had to be me I'm sure I won't appreciate being you either just hope you're doing better than I am <clears throat> Rest in peace, comic historian. You know, he was one of our... You know, I remember coming coming home after school and re listening to Comic Story. Comic Historian, he had been on YouTube so fucking long that I literally remember... we. I remember us coming home and w watching him read us comic books because we couldn't afford comics in the household we were in. So we literally would go home and find comic books and be like, oh, I would like to buy that. And we would read them. Basically, everything I know about comic books comes from either Comics Explained or Comic Story, which you know that. It's just... I just can't believe it, you know? This is one of those things where it feels like, you know, when Stan Lee died, it feels like somebody punched, you know how it was. You know, it feels like someone punched you right in the stomach. And then when my uncle died, felt the same way. And then, you know, comic story. And it's just one of those people. It just feels like it's wrong. You know, it feels like that he should not have died. It just feels like... Like somebody fucked up in the timeline. Somebody fucked up, and now he's dead. It just was making me think about all these things, you know. Uh, geezer club it was making me think about I want to talk to you about something real quick and I want you to remember this in case I f become you and forget it always remember future club I don't know if I've changed the effects of the video so you can see me but at least you can hear me and what you need to remember is that there's a difference between being violent, being bored of violence. There's a few people I've already gone to the spiel about. You could call it a rant, but GK, just think of it as just think of it as a tool. Because with this piece of information, you may remember who you are again, in case you forget. In case we become memento. You know, that was a movie, Memento, Christopher Nolan. Great film. Entirely backwards. But, Geezer Club, it's like this. Being born of violence and being violent are two fucking different things. There's a lot of people that you meet on your journey of existence that think that they're violent people. They think that they can take on anything. They can fight anyone. They can be confrontational. They can be unpleasant. They can be uncivilized, irrational. They think that they can be that way. <clears throat> and they're really not. They're people 
born of privilege. People who have everything don't know it. Mostly, it's mostly narcissistic people. Being born of violence means that you yourself, your true nature is not to be violent. But at this point, you know, I mean, like, our, our parents met each other out of violence. They stayed together out of violence. Our birth was created violently. And before even, before even I was born, before even I was born, Grandpa Salazar was murdered by the fucking mob. I wasn't even there. That was fucking, you know, our dad, he was like a fucking baby and they're already trying to kill us off. And that's just our era. That's our fucking time period. That's not even to mention the shit that's happened years before, you know. Our people, he's a club. This might be your memento moment where you find out, like, oh, in case you've forgotten, our people are the bad guys. I mean, people always like to say Britain, but honestly, we were worse than Britain, our people. They killed the Native Americans, they enslaved their own kind, other kind. We were going around the block just being in, on Earth, just being like fucking... You know, who the fuck can we enslave? Our own? It's happened. You know damn well, in a family like ours, there's no such thing as unity. In a family with beings who are only lions. There can only be one king. So they kill each other. And they do that for hundreds of thousands of years. So you get us. Now that we're so civilized, we don't do that shit much anymore. I mean, it still happens. People stab each other and kill each other and blame it on anything they want just to get away, from, away with it, but no. If you're born of violence, you don't care about repercussions. You don't care what happens. You literally will let the world be destroyed just to prove your point. But a person being violent is a clown. A person putting on a show, trying to make you think that they're violent, more like a jester. <sighs> just, I only have 11 minutes, but you know, that's all I wanted to tell you. Just a little teaching moment, needs a clap. Don't forget. All right. Oh yeah, another thing, needs a clap, look at this. Learn how to tie your fucking shoes. Whore. It's June 19th, 2024. You's about to go do the same shit you do constantly. Go buy a fucking Taco Bell. You're gonna do that. And, yeah, I'm like... You're, you're like, uh... Well, I think I'm gonna go get Taco Bell, you know, so. Knows that I have at least a couple hundred in my bank account. Checks to make sure I have enough so I can buy Taco Bell. Like, do I have at least seven, seven, six hundred? That should be enough for Taco Bell, I think. It's moments like that, future club, that make you truly fucking unique. Then we're going to go buy some stay awake medicine. Oh, man. Then we're going to go to work later. Then we have this whole Ghostbusters fucking thing planned. We bought the entire Ghostbusters series. On a whim. You know, it's like I bought a $10 movie for the first and second one. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of want to watch the new ones. You know, the, with the Paul Rudd. Which is funny because he's just like a side character, but that's like how people describe it. They're like, oh, the new one's with Paul Rudd. And he's just on the front cover, but he's like a side fucking character. 
What else? You know. Um, oh man, I could watch it uh, Afterlife was a lot more emotional than I thought it was gonna be. It was very like like the guy, the guy actually died in real life. Like uh, what's his name? So Harris or something for me Harris. That guy who was uh, he played the smart one basically. Uh, the four of them. He uh, he actually died in real life, and so I thought him at the beginning dying. I thought that was all we were going to see, and it was very emotional. So now I'm attached to Ghostbusters. I'm going to go watch Frozen Empire on the weekend. I'm going to try to power through this fucking work week. And then was the animated series that we're going to try to fucking watch. We're going to watch all the motherfuckers. And then when it comes to the fucking re- reboot one, you'll try. And we'll critique it honestly, but still, it's a fucking reboot. Reboots... Reboots are, they got shitty assholes. Nobody likes shitty assholes. Shitty Skippy. Dibby do eating fucking piss and poo. All right, I'll be back. Well, the only reason that this video is at the end of that one is because the world is not the same as it was a fucking week ago. Because Comic Story is gone. Comic Storian was kind of one of the reasons that I was just so knowledgeable in comics and stuff. He made it more interesting, you know. Uh, he made it, I mean, he was like in his 40s and he knew everything about comic books. He knew everything about Marvel and DC and Star Wars. He was the fucking master. He was the historian, comic fucking book historian. That's why he was called Comic Storian, because he knew fucking everything. He was a fucking genius. He was like a comic book Einstein. He knew why characters did what they did and the powers and shit. He was fucking amazing. I just can't believe that he's fucking gone. It's tragic. But I know I've meant, I mentioned it already, but I just want to say it again. But yeah, that one really fucked me up. I'm definitely going to miss the comic story. We'll see you uh, next time. Gives a club. I'm, I'm tired. Go polish your cane or some shit. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm not trying to turn this into a retard rant, but I'm just saying, shit needs to fucking. Shit's fucking ridiculous right now. Look at this shit. This is a main road. Four lane. I gotta think it's five lanes. I'm gonna do. Three, four, five. They blocked off the last two fucking lanes. Look at, there's nothing over here. The shit that they're doing is way back there and they're drilling one fucking hole. What are you doing? Fucking stop. It's got to a point. Club at this time. Uh... It's ridiculous. There's so much fucking construction. Down by Walgreens, all the lights are completely ripped out for no fucking reason. Only because they don't want to pay money for it. That's why. That's why. They took out two important lights that needed to be there, but I guess not. Because I don't want to pay for it. So, you know, because Clinton actually blew all their money on a scam a few years ago, if not last year. Where they tried to make money off a bunch of people from fucking China. You think you think I'm bullshitting? But they actually hired like a bunch of students to uh, pretend to be normal fucking students at Clinton fucking high school. That's where they got all their fucking funding money from. And then they built entire fucking mansions of high schools, you know, with their shit. That's what they did, Giza Club. I mean, you would be fucking appalled. It's ridiculous. I can't believe that fucking happened. You know what I mean? It's so stupid. And then that area has been completely blocked off. And now over there is completely blocked off. 
Also, the reason I went this way is because the other way is blocked off. Soon, the entire fucking town's blocked off, dude. Literally, there's so much fucking construction that, frankly, I, I don't even want to be on the fucking road. Dude, there's nowhere you can drive now and you could be free from construction. It's just not possible. If you're driving, if you're out and driving, regardless of where you are in the town, regardless of how far you think you are, you are always you are always four feet away from construction. And that's not even a fucking lie. That's an actual fucking estimate. <clears throat> I'm just saying. It's it's gotten out of hand. Just be glad you're not fucking here having to deal with it. I hope they choke. <laughs>